Well, I found a strip. You sure? Need to be this way. So, I think I do it very properly. there go for that a little bit of two stroke oil on the o-ring that is uh, the best then down in the hole I make it to go to the right side, I guess. Yeah, there it's on its place where it's supposed to be. And then it's just to try to enter the screws. There. Take away the stop wire a little. later one place and then it's the gaskets Yeah, perfect. I found a new one. But first I want to enter this a little two-stroke oil on this. Fuel line. I will say they are a nice match. Perfect size. Pressure it in. Always need a little time. This, after all, it's some rubber lines. You give it a little pressure, and then it comes slowly. Don't rush it, but press it. That's all the way into the bottom, and uh, doesn't 
feels like any mouse have been eaten on this. It feels uh, pretty new, a couple of years, one year old maybe. Well, that's done. There's the stop switch. There is the new gasket. Doesn't matter if you take it up or down. There is the pulse line. There is pulse hole there and there, so it has no meaning uh, difference if you put it upside down. It does the same job. Fits perfectly. There is on the, its place, and then you squeeze this, and it's just enough space to get it in here. There, and just to get it past this, this is stopping it a little, but there is just enough space. Then it's very easy. Keep the throttle up a little, and you remember, you look here, it's on the upper hole, there's a lot of holes on the side here, but the governor is on the top hole, and, uh, and there is two holes on the choke. And the choke levelers should be on the lowest hole. And then you see a little hatch here, or a little uh, something there, the profile. It fits down here. Take this, uh, give it a little throttle. And this one should go up like this, the fuel line. And then you Take the back plate gently on place like this, no problem. And then the two screws with a little space around, one in each side. Not much hanky panky, not much difficult. Tighten this a little. Then I put the choke lever on place on the lowest hole here. Just put it in there. And then the speed governor. Into the hole here. You regulate with your finger the speed. So it's uh, perfect size, perfect uh, fits the, into the hole there, and then there is this small little, before I do that I could put the two nuts on for the carburetor, so it's on, I fixed the uh, fixate uh, carburetor, I'll just enter the threads here. So you have a good place to work on here, very easy, very good to work on. And you have a good place to, to fit your tool, wrench, wrench maybe is the word. 
pipe wrench might be the right word. A lot of threads. Could have put a spice or a spacer on, I didn't do that. And the nuts, not important, I think. You tighten them, you feel how much you need to tighten them. Not over tighten it so you break the threads. This is only a small 8 pipe. deep so uh, the pipe go to the bottom so I use a fixed wrench there I feel it's in the bottom there I feel that's correct tiny whiny of two-stroke oil on and press it on. Give it a little time. Press gently with a with a tool here. And uh, well, there I took the choke out of this hole because I didn't put the splint in yet. There is the choke. There is a homemade uh, splint, it's a wire. I, there is a tiny, tiny hole here, and I just put, uh, I could put both of them. The meaning is to put both of them in and then squeeze both of this uh, and try to synchronize them, the ends of the splint. See if I fit the hole. I have a good outdoor working light here now. is just to get it down there. And turn it around a little, bend it so it doesn't fall out. Bend it to the same side or the other side. I also bend this a little. Yeah, but then it's uh, secured, so the choke leveler doesn't go away out of its position. I think that's good. Working perfect. Doesn't go into any. Doesn't uh, being interrupted in any way, shape, or form. But. Uh, So there you got it, the carburetor is back, still dripping a little oil under, so then the rag is nice to have, oh my oh my, I forgot to put the speed, uh, there is one on the speed too, I forgot to put that small little thing on the speed, throttle, The 
battery is almost gone. It's perfect. I think it will last enough for me to it last long enough for me to show this little detail. Yeah. How can I show that in a perfect, cool, and good uh, video way? Where is my uh, small one? There it is. Still filming. There it is. That's a, I call it a splint. Very uh, genius and nice one. Try to find a hole. There. No. I missed it. Oh my, oh my. Let's go to the side. Where did it go? Hmm. So, how it can happen when you work on these things. And you are not clever enough. Where did it go? Maybe it's four down in the room there and never to be seen again. That was a little sad. But it's no big deal, I just make a... but it's irritating. Very irritating. So I put on some light to try to identify it, to see if I can find it. There's something shining in there. Hmm. It's kind of uh, not so funny, these things. But shit happens. There it is, just come out. Came from nowhere. I don't know where. How? Ah, this is live television or live movie or whatever you would call it. There is laying. And don't tell a word. So I try from this angle, show what I mean, into this hole there. Need to enter the small little hole there on the throttle goner. So it's slightly magnetic, so maybe the smartest thing I would do is just to put the screwdriver down there. Yes, you see, it's lifting up, coming up. This is a very, very small part, of course, I don't need to tell that. And now if my eyes don't put me down, this should be an easy thing to do. But I have started to use eye gloves, glasses, so I don't see as good as I did. Did it enter? Actually, I'm not sure. Hmm. 
there, perfect. You. Could even squeeze it uh, together a little. To make sure it doesn't pop out. But this is a uh, no big deal to make a homemade uh, little metal uh, wire stuck in there. So now the throttle is uh, perfect on place. And the carburetor is back on. And I think there is gasoline on it. I have my air goggles, so let's see how it react in this hot weather. But now there is air in the fuel line. It will drag up gasoline now when I pull the cord. Oh my god, it started even before I, I just wanted to pull some gas uh, up there. It started so easy. wanted to explain is that uh, uh, to help to get the air bubbles out it's, it could be okay to give it a little drink just a few drops depends on which saw it is how easy it is to drown could be a little individual so you need to almost to have an intimate feeling about the special saw you're working with I give it a little throttle pre-speed no choke because it's 26 degrees outside It's amazing how it works. And now there is no air bubbles in the fuel line. So I, uh, I have been fixing the problem. And I adjusted it a little later. Now it's uh, coffee time. Very pleased with this uh, project. I never thought it would work actually. But uh, as you could uh, can see, and here it's... Uh, it's running uh, promising for now and you never know if it will last but I think it will because it's, uh, uh, the threads of the heli coil for the spark plug was uh, made very good and uh, with the extra securing or with, uh, with the two component uh, glue it um, doesn't leak anything so because I took two components uh, glue around uh, this is the glue I have been using on the Husqvarna R65 metal repair five minutes then it's uh, getting hard or um, uh, fixed after five minutes I think uh, my experience is this is a good uh, product and I don't sure but how many degrees it could uh, accept but uh, when I bought it I buy often for uh, stove glo uh, gluing on stove so I guess it has a pretty high temperature acceptance the um, treads and I also uh, on the outer side, as you can see the uh, hair, so there is no uh, compression loss at all there. Now you can see it's dripping, it's, see it's perfect, it's oiling, but I need to open this, take off the clutch and inspect uh, uh, why it's dripping oil. But that's uh, it's easy, easy job. 
maybe I should. Uh, I hope I can film uh, it. Come more from this. Uh, ah, you could not see the oil, but it's oiling, oiling good here. It's ripping it from here. Oiling is coming out for the bar. So everything is pretty cool and nice now. I'm happy about this. It's like uh, climbing a mountain and you come on the top. Uh, so I would say a beauty. Swedish technology and I am now in Sweden. In Värmland, close to Venom. Even have bookings. Not the most spectacular, but uh, there, there. There is something uh, with a handle here, the threads here. I need to put a new bolt on that. But this is solid, enter good. New bolt from Biltema is not the original. But look at this, no air bubbles. Maybe I should uh, just adjust it now. Try. Not bad at all.